Things are quiet now at Papalotok School of the Arts in Oceanside. But this was the scene on the first day of school on August 15th. Yeah. Construction equipment visible while students are lining up to head to class. Just uh, an enormous amount of issues that first day of school. And last week, students were evacuated after the construction crew hit a power pole, causing a downed power line in the middle of campus. There's fire and smoke. Miss, the principal just went running. That cemented the decision for M. Callie to keep her son out of school. I just personally don't feel comfortable sending my child to school. The school has been under construction for the past two years for a modernization project expected to be completed in 2025. Callie says she won't feel comfortable sending her son back until she and other parents have a walkthrough with the person in charge of construction safety at the school. I'm in front of the school. As you can see, there's an exposed pipe. And over here, there's an exposed trench. And parents say these are the kinds of hazards that their children face every day at school during construction. Kurt Stebranley says parents already have anxiety sending their children to school. Having construction, it's even more of an issue as far as health-wise, hazards, safety, fire, all of that. She says the school lacks shade structures to keep students cool outside on hot days. I'm dark skinned, she's light skinned, so she always gets sunburns. In an email sent to parents last Friday, Oceanside Unified School District says it's added more temporary canopies for shade. And the construction crew meets daily to review safety procedures to ensure students' safety. A district spokesperson declined to do an on-camera interview but says the district is working with parents to address their concerns. Still, Callie says until she sees improvements, she will continue to keep her son home from school. Alexander Wynn, KPPS News.